All right, my friends, we got Adam Kaltenbach coming around here with Forgotten Heroes. If I can get you to please stand for the invocation, and we'll go straight into the national anthem. All right, let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this wonderful day. Dear Lord, we thank you for everything that you mean to us. Please keep your protecting hand upon the drivers tonight and all the fans as they head home. We ask this all in your wonderful name. Amen. Please remain standing for the playing of our national anthem. Big round of applause for Kaltenbach carrying the flag tonight. Big thank you to Unforgotten Heroes coming and hanging out with us tonight. Who's ready for a good night of racing here at Monet Motor Speedway? Yes, we got one person. I'm excited too. Again, we got the Power Eye Midwest Modified certain things off for us here tonight. Big thank you to Metro Towing out there, right there in the middle again, jumping on with us for the 2022 season. Doesn't matter what your towing needs are, they can handle it. They can tow or haul just about anything from 800 pounds to 100,000 pounds. With 24-hour dispatch, give them a call at 417-385-3268. Again, k and Air, Air Filters jumping on with us this year. For over 50 years, k and has been the industry leader in automotive filtration and technology, offering products to increase performance, protection, and longevity in thousands of vehicles applications for consumers worldwide. Starting off here with our Power Ride Midwest Modified. Nine entries tonight. Starting on the pole, several time winner this year already. Out of Joplin, Missouri, the 929 of Garrett Thompson. On his outside, out of Seneca, Missouri, the number 48 of Bryson Stringer. Inside row number two, out of Joplin, Missouri, the 55B of Melvin Bressy. On his outside, the 14D out of Seneca, Tom Dixon. And starting on the bubble, Tyler Dawson in the 195. Looks like we're missing somebody out there, probably Melvin Bressy. Drive shaft issues during hot laps. Gonna roll it in a little bit. Put some water down on the track. Don't want it to be a big sloppy mess.
Again, big thank you to Rusty's Auto Parts 24920 State Highway 39 in Shell Knob. They have your automotive, marine, truck, and tractor parts. They have a full line of battery and oils, overnight availability on all your non stocked items. And they're only closed on Christmas and Thanksgiving. You can get a hold of them at 417 858 3307. Again, Thompson, Stringer, front row. Dixon and Dawson, row number two here for heat race number one. Lights are out. Time to go racing. Looks like we're live here. One minute ago, 37 people watching from home. Be sure to go on there, give it a share and a like. We appreciate you for being here at Monet Motor Speedway. Let's go racing. Garrett Thompson takes the lead going down the backstretch. Tyler Dawson looking to go underneath. Bryson Stringer as they go down the backstretch. Stringer's going to hold on to that second spot. Stringer looking to the bottom side. Tyler Dawson way high going through three and four. Coming around to lead lap number one. It's going to be Garrett Thompson out of Joppa, Missouri. Thompson running a 21-3-6 that last time around. Bryson Stringer. Holding on that top side, Tyler Dawson going to look to the bottom as they go into turn number three. Stringer doing his best to hold him off, but he gets pushed up just a little bit. Gets a little wild. Dawson assuming that second position. Tom Dixon will move up to that third spot. Stringer around. He gets her st straightened back out. Let's see if they can get it started. Doesn't look like they're going to bring out the first caution here. He got her started just a little bit too late. Bryson Stringer on that back stretch, spinning, coming out at turn number two. Garrett Thompson at 929, doing what he's done all year, leading out there. Best lap last time around at 20.659. Tyler Dawson advancing up to that second spot. Tom Dixon running third and Bryson Stringer bringing around. Flagger K. Lee gives him a signal for green next time by. Delaware double file restart. Again, two down, six to go here in our Power Eye Midwest Modified Heat Race number one. Thompson hits that lap pedal. Here they go, green flag. Thompson coming around the lead lap, number three this time by. Everybody pretty much single files out here. Dawson in your second spot, Dixon in third. Looks like Stringer gonna take her to the back. No problems, hopefully he can get her all fixed back up. Number five, Garrett Thompson running his best lap last time by. We'll see if they can beat it this time, and he does. 19.348. That was his best lap and the fastest lap so far tonight. Two to go this next time by the 929 of Garrett Thompson. Nine 
at 29 of Garrett Thompson out there walking the dog. One more time around for the 929. Just about a whole Stroyder lead run, and Garrett as it comes around three and four. Takes the fourth checkered flag, fifth checkered flag rather, of this 2022 season so far. Tyler Dawson holding on that second spot. And Tom Dixon rounding out the field. 48 of Bryson Stringer finishing four laps down. That'll do it for he rates number two of your power I Midwest Spotify. That'll do it for heat race number one. This is heat race number two starting on the pole. The number 45 out of Ozark, Missouri of Colt Cheever. On his outside out of Crane, Missouri, the 12N of Ron Maple. Ron Maple section over there. Inside row number two, the number 17 out of Fairgrove, Missouri. It's going to be Rick Lampy. And starting on the bubble here out of Stark City, Missouri, the number 26B of Tim Brown. Cheever's Maples on the front row, Lampy Brown, row number two. Again, another big thank you to Adam and Christy, Miss Christy Looney. Just started the Unforgiven Heroes. Unforgotten Heroes, I apologize. Unforgotten Heroes just started October of 2021. They focus on the kids of veterans and service members, your fired and police officers. They're involved with the Price Cutter Charity Championship, also involved with the Springfield Cardinals. They're going to be the pace car for making strides for breast cancer there in October. That's big for them. They are veteran-owned. Again, they will be back May 13th and August 6th, but if you want to follow them around, they've got a couple dates all over the place. They're giving away a 50-50 drawing tonight. If you took some pictures with the Colton Bach car, they will be on their Facebook page on Wednesday. Be sure to go give them a like and a follow there. Unforgotten Heroes or Foundation on Facebook. Again, Cheever's Maples, front row, Lampy Brown. Cheever slowly brings them through three and four, sets that pace. Here we go. Cheevers with the lead going into the back stretch. Ron Maples falls him in tow. Tim Brown gets into that third position, and Rick Lampy rounding out the field here. Everybody lined out in their starting positions. Cheevers. About a 10 car lead already here, coming to lap number two of your Power Eye Midwest on a five heat race, number two. Cheevers running at 18.83 that time by, so far the fast lap of the night. Ron Maples able to get a hold of it that time by running a much faster 19 428 that last time. I know he's been fighting some demons here the last couple weeks. I think he's going to get a handle on it soon. Faster yet again here on lap number four, halfway through your Power Ride Midwest Mono High Heat Race number two. About a three and a half second lead for Colt Cheevers. Another second and a half back to Tim Brown. That's your top three, Cheevers, Maples, Brown. Lampy rounding out the field there in that number 17 machine. She 
Evers setting the pace way out front. Sending his lead to four seconds. That last time by, he takes the white flag this time. Four point three six five lead. Over the 12 of Ron Maples, here comes the number 45 of Colt Cheevers to take the win here in heat race number two. Ron Maples coming in second there. 4.4 seconds behind. Then the 26B of Tim Brown and Rick Lampy rounding out the field again. Colt Cheevers in the number 45, taking home the win. Out next. What we came to see, the Power Eyes Super Stocks, 23 entries so far. I believe I even seen one or two more coming in during the hot laps. Looks like we got four heat races for our Power Eyes Super Stocks. Starting on the pole out of Republic, Missouri, the number 27 of Bob Barnett. On his outside, Gibby Stenhouse. Out of Mountain Home, Arkansas, in the number 21. Jason Winkle out of Sanat, Missouri, in the number 88. He was having troubles during hot laps. He must not come out. Kyle Hamby due to start in that 7K. He'll be starting from the fourth position. Tony England out of Walnut Ridge, Arkansas, in the G1. And Brian Brown out of Purdy, Missouri, in the number 68. Starting on the bubble tonight. Barnett Stenhouse, row number one. England Hamby and Brown. This is heat race number one. Green flag, here we go. Bob Barnett steps out all by his lonesome. He's got the G1 right behind him, the 21. A Stenhouse falls back to third. Bob Barnett going to leap lap number one here. Brown looking to take it over that third spot. He gets to the inside of Stenhouse in the number 21. Tucks back to the backside. Three-way battle for that third position. Meanwhile, Bob Barnett spins out front. That will bring out the caution here on lap number two. Number one, rather. All right, so Tony England, your new leader in the G1. Mr. Brian Brown in the 68, moving up to that second spot, the 21 of Gibby Hinton Stenhouse in that third spot on the bottom. And a 7K of Kyle Hamby. And fourth as your previous leader, Bob Barnett, moves to the rear. Lights out. Green flag this next time by. Green flag, here we go. Three wide down the front stretch. Everybody's able to hang on to it. 21 hangs that left front. And put seven down for it. That will bring out the caution here one more time. Twenty one, but she was getting fancy.
Looks like the 21 and Gibby Stenhouse going to take it to the back. England out front. Delaware double file restart. <laughs> Green flag. <laughs> Barnett on the bottom. Brown on top. Brown motors right by the 27. He's got that G1 of England in his sights. One lap in the books here. He ranks a number one. These guys setting your lap record so far. England with the fastest lap of the night. Everybody just a little bit slower that time by. Tony England in that G1 out front. Brian Brown half a second behind. Bob Barnett able to make up a little ground going into turns three and four. Kyle Hamby holding it down there in position at four. Brown on that top side, gaining a lot of ground through three and four. He might try to pick it up to the top side coming this round. G1 holding it down to the bottom. Good run off the top. He's going to look to the bottom side. Brown for the lead. Heading into turns three and four. Brown's going to push up just a little bit. G1, England going to look down to the bottom again. Drag race for the lead. Brown, your leader that time by with a 19-1-5-9. Brown holding on. Good run off the top. England moves back to that second spot. Not going to be a walk in the park for anybody tonight. Brian Brown out front with that 18.644. Brown eventually starting from that fifth spot, taking the white flag this time. Bob. One and a half second lead that last time by. He's stretching it out as he goes down the back stretch. He turned on the boosters. Coming to take the checkered flag, 68 of Brian Brown. Brown out of Purdy, Missouri in the number 68 machine. Taking the win here, heat race on number one. Tony England in that G1, finishing second. Bob Barnett rounding out your top three. Kyle Hamby in the 7K, finishing fourth. Time for heat race number two. Out of Liberal, Missouri, starting on the pole, the number 30 of Craig Spencer. On his outside out of Tallahassee, Oklahoma, the 44K of Robert No. In the number 60 machine, starting inside row number two out of Fort Smith, Arkansas. It's going to be Chuck Knight on Chuck's outside out of Statland, Missouri, the 1B of Tim Brown. Inside row number three out of West Plains, Missouri, the 27S of Will Smart. Kenny Shelton in that number 19 machine, looking fast last week. We'll see what he can do this week out of Galena, Kansas, starting from the rear tonight. Take a look at our Facebook Live. See how many people we got watching. 65 viewers at the moment. Up to 70 viewers on our Facebook page. I'm going to give that a good little love mark.
Lineup looks right. Flagger Kaylin gives him the sign for Green next time by. Spencer and Knowles on that front row. Knight and Brown, row number two, Smart and Shelton. Eight laps the distance here on our Power Eye Super Stock Heat Race to number two. Spencer brings them around three and four. Sets the place real slow. Hits that loud pedal. Playing a little games. That's a good way to go. Forty-four finding the gear on the outside. It's gonna be Robert Knowles taking the lead down the back stretch. He's got the number one machine of Tim Brown following him on that top side. Coming around to lead lap number one, gonna be the 44 machine of no. That one machine is getting impatient. Mr. Brown wants to be out front right now. He's gonna hold it on that top side. 44 of Knowles gonna poke into that on the bottom. Protecting that bottom side is that 44K of Knowles. Tim Brown trying his best. He's really bouncy on that front end, boy. Thirty machine of Spencer holding on to third for now, but he's got two. Fast machines knocking at his front back door there. Knight's going to look to the bottom of the 30 machine, try to take that third spot. He's going to have the 19 of Kenny Shelton. Thinks better of it, tucks back in, slows back down. He's all over that back bumper, pushing him down the back stretch. Meanwhile, the 44K of Knoll still out front. Brown waiting to make his move here. Five laps in the books. 60 of Knight trying to look to the bottom side of that 30 machine again. He's got the 19 all over his back bumper trying to push him through to the front. Two to go that last time by. Gonna bring out the white flag this time. 44K of Robert Knowles out front. Tim Brown into white flag here. We've got one off in turn number four. Caution. Caution coming out here on lap. Able to get her back on the track there. Sixty uh, showing his displeasure with a nineteen machine. All right, Metro Towing going to work on getting that machine off the tires over there. Big thank you to Metro Towing, helping us out again this year. Big thank you to Torque Performance and Repair, located 3677 North Main Street in Joplin. If you dream it, they can build it for all your performance, diesel repair, and custom fabrications. Give them a call, 417-623-8677.
Also, big thank you to longtime sponsor, Grand Tire, located at Highway 37 in Pier City, Jefferson Avenue in Aurora, and Old Highway 37 in Cassville. They offer a complete selection of car and truck tires, have thousands of tires in stock from industry's top manufacturers. Find your nearest location and give them a call today. If you're wanting racing photos of your favorite drivers, check out Inside the Old Photography on Facebook, official photographer of Monet Motor Speedway. All pictures are uploaded to her Facebook page on a weekly basis. Albums are located, labeled rather, by track titles and dates. Miss Sarah has a bunch of specials for 2022 with pictures ranging from 4x6 all the way up to 18x24. Custom sizes are available. Orders over $75 ship for free. And she does accept cash, credit card, checks, PayPal, and even Apple Pay and Android Pay for all your at-the-track needs. Also new this year, we got Show Me Dirt jumping on for weekly racing here at Monet Motor Speedway. Post the ad, sir. Post your ad. Watch all the lives and replays at showmedirt.tv. Show Me Dirt is great about sharing and promoting dirt track racing all around the Midwest. Anything from upcoming events, photos and videos. If you can't make it out to one of our race nights, no worries, my friend. My buddy Thomas Shaw Jr. produces the greatest live stream broadcast for affordable prices. Watch our heat races for free through our first Facebook page, which it looks like we got a bunch on there right now. This is me giving you the big thumbs up on Facebook. Also visit Tombo's page and showmedirt.tv. Don't forget to like, share, and follow. I see you, Mr. Johnny Rusher from Arkansas. We appreciate you. We got listeners from Wyandotte, Oklahoma. Again, the under caution here. Will Smart out of West Plains, Missouri, hitting the tires off of turn number four right before the finish.
All right, them guys are getting that tire mess all cleaned up over there. Be sure to visit the Pit Stop Grill. Get your hamburger, cheeseburger, hot dog, chili. Chili dogs, chili cheese nachos, chili on Fritos. We're fancy like that. Get you some candy, popcorn, chip. Get you a nice cold Coca-Cola Classic. Diet Coke. Dr. Pepper Sprite Root Beer. Sweet Tea. Powerade and Water. Looks like we're ready to get things lined out. They got them all towed up. Looks like the one machine. I look at to go top side. Tim Brown. That'll put the number 30 of Spencer inside uh, row number two. Sixty of Chuck Knight inside a row number three, and the nineteen of Kenny Shelton outside a row number three. Lights are out. Green flag. Here we go. Thirty sliding all the way back up to the wall. Boy, that one is all over the back side of the forty-four. Number 30 machine gonna dive right down the bottom side. Look to take that second spot. Tucks right back in behind the one of Tim Brown. Tim with a good run on that top side. We'll see if he can do anything with it. Gives a little push to the 44 of Knowles. He's gotta find a different line if he's gonna advance. White flag coming out here. Little damage to the back side of that 30 machine. 60 of Chuck Knight going to look to the top side. Still a top three here in heat race number two. Meanwhile, out front, one man out front all night. The 44K of Robert Knowles taking the win. Tim Brown gave it his best, but he finishes four tenths of a second there. Behind in that second spot, Chuck Knight able to get that third position away. Rounding out your top three. Here it comes, 44K, Robert Knowles. Winner, P race number two. All righty. As soon as Knowles goes by there, we're going to send out a heat race to number three. Starting on the pole out of West Plains, Missouri, the 26M of Donnie Miller. On Donnie's outside, Aaron Poe out of Knob Knobster in the number 45. Ryan Thomas inside a row, uh, number two in the 414 out of Fairgrove, Missouri. On his outside, Matthew Seaman in the T10 out of Harrison, Arkansas. Hank Long inside a row, number three out of Stillwell, Oklahoma in the 8S. And on his outside, Dylan Root out of Tulsa, Oklahoma in the number 52. Miller Pro on the front row. Thomas Seaman, row number two, and Long Root, row number three. Again, a big thank you to all 69 watching live at home. Be sure to give a share and a like. 
We'll get them stacked back up here again. Get back to racing here. Heat race to number three. Power Eye Super Stocks. The Josh Essery Memorial Race. 4,004 to win for these guys tonight. Big thank you to the Essery family coming out with us tonight. We appreciate them. Big round of applause for the Esseries here. Lights out. Miller Poe on the front row. Green flag. Fast on that top side. Aaron Poe to the front already. Poe, the number 45, lean lap number one. Matthew Seaman already making it to that third spot. The 26 of Donnie Miller in second currently. Three wide through three and four. That won't work very well as it does bring out our first caution. Yes, if Hank Long gets her started back up. We'll get them right back in line, get back to racing here. In our heat race, uh, number three. What? Able to complete one lap there. In our Power Eye Super Stock Key Race, uh, number three. Aaron Poe out front in that number 45 machine. Donnie Miller holding on to second. Matthew Seaman in that third spot. 26M not picking up on my race pass, but he is in that second spot there. Four fourteen of Ryan Thomas in that fourth position. Dylan Roop in fifth. And Hank Long. Rounding out your field as they try to go three wide through three and four, and something had to give. Lights out. One down, seven to go. Heat race number three. Aaron Poe brings them around three and four. Here we go. Poe with the lead through the middle. Seaman right behind him, starting to reel him in a little bit just as they go down the back stretch. Coming around the lead lap number two, going to be the 45 of Aaron Poe. Donnie Miller all over the back side of the number 10 T car. Roop is going to try to advance on the bottom side. He'll try to do it again through three and four here as they come for lap number three. Roop will tuck it down to the bottom again, trying to take that third spot from the 26. He's side by side now down the back stretch. That's the battle for third. Not going anywhere this time by, able to make a little headroom. He'll tuck back in. Twenty six machine gives the T ten machine a little push. Says I'm coming. You better get out of my way.
Seaman having to protect two lanes here. He's got the 26 up on the top side. And Dylan Rip on the bottom. Dylan making moves. He'll push that 10 machine up, make him a little bit uncomfortable. Aaron Poe, about a three and a half second late. He loves to see these guys fighting it out. Roop advances. He's up to second now. Seaman moves back to third. Coming to the white flag this time by the 45 of Aaron Poe. One more time around. Roop tries to sweep up just a little bit. Seaman gonna go the hard way around off that top side. Gonna be a big battle. Aaron Poe all by himself out front. Big battle for second. Gonna be a drag race. Who's gonna take it? It's gonna be Seaman. Seaman able to get that second spot back away from Dylan Roop there. Exciting racing coming from heat race number three of your Power Stocks Super Stocks. Power I Super Stocks, rather. We got one more heat race here. Five competitors in heat race. Uh, number four. Starting on the pole out of Joplin, Missouri, the number 35 of Johnny Coates. On his outside out of Locksburg, Arkansas, the number 40 of Taylor Carver. Inside row number two out of Purdy, Missouri, the number 69 of Dylan Bowman. On his outside, the 164. Been fast here the last couple weeks out of Stillwell, Oklahoma, of Michael Muskrat. And starting in the rear, I have here the 10K of Kyle Davis. We've got one more additional entrant here. Looks like the 35 triple X of John Kelly. So six starting here in our last heat race, the Power Eye Super Stocks. Lights are out. A big thank you to Jerry Schweitzer of Century 21 Integrity Group. Local rural real estate agent. Contact Jerry today for professional real estate assistance. Dial 417-844-6852. It's time for your last heat race here on your Power Eye Super Stocks. Let's go! Three wide down the front shut. That's how we're gonna start heat race number four. Dylan Boma moves up. The 35X moves in. Johnny Coates out of front. He'll come around elite lap number one. He's got the number 40 of Taylor Carver right behind him there. Muskrat and Davis each jumping one position that last lap. Coates out front, Carver second, Muskrat in that third spot. Johnny Coates in that 35 with a 19 2 2 2 fast lap. Troubles on the 40 machine of Taylor Carver. Looks like he's going to have to take her to the back. That's unfortunate. He was running second at the time. That'll move the 164, Michael Muskrat, up to that second spot, the 10K of Kyle Davis up to third. Coates with about a two-second lead that last time by, coming to halfway through your Power Eye Superstock Key Race number four. The 35X, way high, he'll spin out. That will bring out the caution here halfway through.
Three laps in the books, five to go. Johnny Coates still out front. Michael Muskrat in that second spot up top. Kyle Davis on the bottom. Bowman and Kelly on that rear. Green flag, here we go. Thirty-five trying to pass go and collect two hundred dollars. He moves up to that third spot. Looking at the bottom side of the ten K. Coke still out front. Kyle Davis holding on a second. Michael Muskrat fighting from that top side. If he can get a better run, that ten K. Is in the way. John Kelly not going anywhere on that 35 machine on the bottom side. Muskrat gets around him all the way, and he looks to advance from the third spot. Coates, meanwhile, out front with a two-second lead over Kyle Davis. Coming to the white flag here. And John Coates out front by 2.231 seconds. Muskrat may fall back this time around. He just did it a little too much there. Everybody gets around the 35 safely. John Coates taking home the win there. And he raced the number four. Kyle Davis finishing second. Michael Muskrat third. And Dylan Bowman fourth. That will do it for our Power Eye Super Stock Heat races. Out next, we got our Power Eye Pure Stocks making their way onto the track. Excellent racing from them guys so far. Really looking forward to that feature. We're giving Dylan Bowman some time. He's climbing from one car to the next. <laughs> All right, starting on the pole here, he race number one, Tracy Ivy out of Garfield, Arkansas, in the number 57. On Tracy's outside, Jason Lewis out of Garfield, Arkansas, in the number 46. 
inside a row number two pulling double duty tonight. The number 69 out of Purdy, Missouri of Dylan Bowman. On Dylan's outside out of Aurora, Missouri, the 64 of Brandon Sanders. And on row number three, all by their lonesome out of Springdale, Arkansas, the number three of David Oliver. Maybe problems on the 64 here. Tough break for the 64 machine. Not look like they're going to get him started. We'll get this thing going. Fifty-seven machine getting them started off the back stretch. Green flag. Here we go. Dylan Bowman taking the lead on the outside here in heat race number one. Down the back stretch he goes. Around Tracy Ivy. David Oliver making big moves. Looking at the bottom side on number 57 of Ivy. Dylan Bowman leading his first lap here of 2022. Looking good out front. Carrying a wheel even. Look how fancy he is. Tracy Ivy in that second spot. About a full second back. We'll see how far the lead is this time by. David Oliver in that third spot. And Jason Lewis rounding out your field. Bowman still out front by 2.216 seconds. Coming around to lead lap number three. Bowman, Ivy, Oliver Lewis. That is how your field rounds out. 57, way low, almost getting a hold of them tires. Holds on to that second spot still. Halfway through your Power Eye Pure Stock Heat Race number one. Dylan Bowman in the number 69 out of Purdy, Missouri, still out front with about a 3.826 second lead. Not about, it's exact. Tracy Ivey still holding on to that second spot. David Oliver doing all they can, making a lot of room up there. Looking to that top side. Going to try to take a second spot away. Just can't get the momentum off that top side to get around. Two to go this time by for your leader of the 69 of Dylan Bowman. Jason Lewis pulling off. Coming around to take white flag. Dylan Bowman on that number 69 machine looking pretty dominant. Oliver's going to try one more time on that top side. Not able to get the run he was hoping for. Meanwhile, coming through three and four, taking his first heat race win of 2022 season, the 69 of Dylan Bowman. Coming in second is going to be that number 57 of Tracy Ivy, your pole sitter. And David Oliver rounding out the field here in your power eye, super stock, pure stock rather. Heat race the number one. All 
All right, making their way onto the track here. Last week's winner, the number 17 out of Aurora, Missouri, of Landa McLaughlin starting on the pole. Honest outside out of Newburn, Tennessee, the 3B of Billy Bryant. Starting inside a row, a number two, the 53 out of Springfield, Missouri, of Kevin Yon. And on his outside, the 55 of Bad Bad Ben Bab. Lights are out. They're bringing them down the back stretch here. Lena McLaughlin and Billy Bryant on the front row. Green flag. Here we go. Yacht moving over to that second spot. Ben Babb's going to look to get around the 30. Machine as well, Lana McLaughlin out front here in heat race number two. Lana McLaughlin out front by about a second and a half, another second back. You're looking at Ben Bab. I'm sorry, uh, yeah, Ben Bab in that third spot. Extending his lead out to about two seconds at last time by. Going to be an interesting race with Dylan Bowman and Lana McLaughlin on the feature. Both cars looking dominant in their respective heat race. Landon out front by two and a half seconds here, 2.3 seconds. Ben Babb and Billy Bryant rounding out your field here. Everybody stretched way out. Big thank you to Rusty's Auto Parts, 24-9-20, State Highway 39 in Sheldon Up. McLaughlin, speed through one and two here, halfway through. Lap of number five. Bab spins her between one and two. He gets her back going. We've got dueling spins. Everybody gets her line back out. You know, Bab kind of looks the same frontwards as he does backwards. He could probably pull it off, toe mater style. Billy Bryant taking her off. That'll leave three. Elena McLaughlin out front. Kevin Yacht in that second spot. Ben Babb originally caution, causing the caution in that third position. Five, eight, five out of eight. Down, three to go. Got 70 live there on Facebook. Gonna go green. Green flag, here we go. Three to go here in the heat race number two of the Power Eye. Pure stop. Again, Lana McLaughlin out front. 
Kevin Yon in that second spot. Ben Beck. Your top three here. Yon, a little over second lead the last time by. McLaughlin, rather. White flag coming out for your leader, Lena McLaughlin, over Kevin Yon. He's a heck of a driver, that 55. He never lifts. Coming around, turns three and four to take the win here, and he raced number two. Going to be the number 17 of Landon McLaughlin. Kevin Yomp coming home in the second spot, and Ben Babb in third. That'll do it for our Power Eye Pure Stocks. Out next are B modified. It's got 12, it looks like. It's what my paper says anyway. You never know who came in late. Two heat races. Gonna start off with Keith Kingston out of Garfield, Arkansas on the front row here on the pole. 51K, Matthew Maines on his outside out of Republic, Missouri in the 9M. Inside row number two, Roy Long, and I still will look home in the 717. On Roy's outside, Stephen Butler at Asylum Springs, Arkansas, the number 40. Inside row number three out of Galena, Missouri, the number 11 of Jared Hilton on his outside. Our feature car of the week, the number two out of Stratford, Missouri, Adam Kaltenbach with the Unforgotten Heroes. Like I said, I knew my paperwork wasn't right. That last car you see there is the 42 of Steve War out of Pierce City, Missouri. Lights are out. Kingston brings them around uh, slowly. Green flag. Caution coming out here. All right, he's able to make it back on. We'll get them all lined back up in the original restart. A little confusion here.
and go and tell back there. Kingston Butler on that front row. Ready to get things started here in our B modified. He raced to number one. Green flag, here we go. Number 40 machine out front all by itself. Steve Butler, way shot out of the cannon. He'll lead lap number one to 717 of Roy Long in that second spot for the time being. Adam Kaltenbach up to third. Steve Worf currently in that fourth spot. Your pulse of Kingston looking at fifth. One point three five one. Problems on Coltenbach machine. He'll move back to fourth. Coming around for lap number three. Still out front for number 40. It's Steve Butler. 1.498 lead over the 717 of Roy Long. Butler, your fast car so far with a 19.705. Roy Long with that second spot. Steve Butler, your fast mover so far. Gaining three spots up to the lead. Carlton Bach up two spots. Roy Long up one. A lap number six here. Stephen Miller in the number 40 still out front. Everybody kind of single fouled out. Roy Long in that second spot. Steve Wharf in third. Adam Kaltenbach crossing the line there. The 9M of Matthew Maines, Jared Hill, and Keith Kingston. Coming to the white flag here. Heat race number one of your B modified. Four to take heat race number one. Gonna be Steve Butler taking home the win there. Roy Long in the 717. Couple names I've not said before this year, I believe. Steve Wolf bringing her home third. Adam Kaltenbach finishing fourth, and Matthew Maines rounding out your top five. He'll do it for B modified heat race number one. This will be our last heat race. Again, our last heat race on Facebook as well. Be sure to jump on showmedirt.tv if you want to finish out the show. I believe it's just a $15 charge and you get to watch all our features. Again, on www.showmedirt.tv. We thank all you Facebook watchers and everybody that's liked and shared tonight. We thank you as well. One of these nights, we're going to have to do a little giveaway. Uh, you share and like on the Facebook page, and we'll give you a free pay-per-view if you can't make it out to one of these races we got going on here weekly at Mona Motor Speedway. Starting on the pole here, heat race number two is going to be Shane Ballou. Out of Cherryville, Kansas, in the number 79. On us outside, the number 22 of Greg Woodcock. Inside, a row number two, the double zero of Case and Harris out of Bella Vista, Arkansas. On us outside, the 55T of James Turnbull out of Billings, Missouri. 
inside a row, a number three out of Butler, Missouri, the 5X of Jer Jerry Brown. And Kelly Chick Hicks in the number 32 out of Pea Ridge, Arkansas. Good looking car, that number 79. Blue Woodcock on row number one, Harris Turnbull, Brown and Hicks. Front down the back stretch. He's got James Turnbull in tow. Number 32. One from worst to first, trying to anyway. Your pulse that are going to the back. Back at the pack anyway. Cherry Brown going to the back in that number 5X machine. Meanwhile, out front, Greg Woodcock with about a half a second lead over the 55T of James Turnbull. Kelly Chick Hicks going to be in a battle here with the double zero of Case and Harris. Woodcock coming through three and four. Got a good run off that top side. Track looking amazing so far. Got about a nine-tenths of a second lead over James Turnbull. Woodcock is the fastest car on the track at the moment with a 19.812 that last time. But Turnbull starting to narrow the lead just a little bit. Good run through three and four for Turnbull. Reeling them in just a little bit. Well, it looked like he was reeling them in. I'm, I'm honest with you. But he's actually just one-tenth of a second slower that time. By. Case and Harris off the back. He gets her back on the track. Dukes a hazard style. Going to try to get around that number 79 here. There's two to go that last time by. Going to look at the white flag next time around for number 22 of Greg Woodcock. Looking at the white flag. Your leader, the 22 of Greg Woodcock, leading from sunup to sundown. James Turbo in that second spot, eight tenths of a second behind. Kelly Chick Hicks, another 2.1 seconds back. And Shane Malou holding on to that fourth position over the double zero of Case and Harris. Coming around to take heat race. A number two of your B modifieds. Greg Woodcock, James Turnbull in a close second. Kelly Chick Hicks in third. Shane Malou. In fourth, and Case and Harris rounding out your field here. That'll do it for all of our heat race. We Again, we appreciate everybody for showing up and showing out here at Monette Motor Speedway. Thank you guys on Facebook for tuning in. Be sure to visit us every week here. If you're not able to make it, join us on Facebook. We got Show Me Dirt helping us out this year. That'll bring us to our intermission. Be sure to go down and visit the Pit Stop Grill here. Get you a hamburger, cheeseburger, hot dog. I'm going to beat you down there because uh, I'm pretty hungry. So,
All right, if I can get you all to look down the flag stand. We've got Unforgotten Heroes. Going to do a little raffle. Hey everybody, if we could get all of the boys and girls who want a free bicycle to come down and we will do a raffle. So every boy gets one ticket and every girl gets one ticket and we will draw and the winner gets a free bike. So if you want to head on down, we'll do that right now. Yeah, it looks like some kids know this song. Let's see your best. Does anybody else need a ticket?
girls' ticket number is seven nine zero zero two one. One more time, my dear. Seven nine zero zero two one. Looking for girls' ticket number. What she said. I can't remember those numbers, but you should. Go down there and see my friends Adam Kaltenbach and Miss Christy Looney. I think we've got a winner making their way down here. Miss Christy, if you would get their name, please. Her name is Zoe. Big round of applause for Zoe. We appreciate you coming out to Monet Motor Speedway with us. Hopefully we got a future race fan. Congratulations, Zoe. Okay, now it's time for the boys' raffle tickets. Boys, pull out your tickets here. The boys' number is five seven eight zero zero nine. Sounds like we had a couple close ones. Five seven eight zero zero nine. We got a winner? His name is Luke. Big round of applause for my man Luke. Taking home a brand new bike. Courtesy of Unforgotten Heroes, we really appreciate these guys coming out. Adam Kaltenbach and Miss Christy Looney here. And one more thing. Do we have a veteran or firefighter or police officer? in the stands who wants to draw for our 50-50? If you would stand up, please. Do we got any firefighters? Oh, right up there. That's what's great about this organization. They focus on the kids of of veterans, service members, and firefighters, and police officers as well. Also involved with the Springfield Cardinals, they're going to be the pace car for the making a strides for breast cancer in October. All right, we're going to draw one more time here. We have $163. I believe this one's for the 50-50. The ticket number is 428126. Four, two, eight, one, two, six. One, two, six, last three numbers. Looks like all the way in the corner. You've got plenty of time. I want you to do the chicken dance on your way down. <laughs> no? Okay, fair enough. Hey, we want you guys to be back here when they are back here. They're going to come back and see us on May 13th and August 6th. But they do have a couple of events around the area, including Midway Speedway. We appreciate you all for coming and hanging out with us. Hopefully you got some merch. I know I It's time for your Power Eye Midwest Modified A feature. Starting on the pole out of Republic, Missouri, the 195 of Tyler Dawson. On his outside, 
Out of Chopper, Missouri, the 929 undefeated so far this year, Garrett Thompson. Inside row number two, the man who might take him down looking fast in his heat race, the number 45 of Colt Cheevers. On his outside, the 12 of another tough competitor, Ron Maple. Inside, a row number three, the number 14 D of Tom Dixon. On his outside, 26 B of Tim Brown. Inside, row number four, the number 17 of Rick Lampy. On his outside, Bryson Stringer in the number 48. And not able to make it out. The 55B of Melvin Brissy. 20 laps of distance here in your Power Ride Midwest Modified A feature. Weather looking beautiful. I'm getting a picture taken. Take pictures of me, Miss Sarah Calvert. Flagger Kaylin gives the signal for one to go. Dawson Thompson on the front row. Cheevers Maples, row number two. Dixon Brown, Lampy Stringer. Wheel to wheel, door to door. Here they come through three and four. Let's get it on. Dawson out so quickly, but quickly does a little spin maneuver. Trying to take it down the bottom side to stay safe. Everybody gets around him. He will bring out. Slow down the back stretch. He gets her back going again. Colt Cheever lead lap number one. And coming out for the number 14 machine of Tom Dixon. Spinning out between one and two. Dixon gets her line back in there. 929 of Garrett Thompson out front currently. Rick Lampy in that second spot. Ron Maples currently in third. Bryson Stringer in the fourth position, the 26 of Tim Brown. Routing out your top five. Lights are out. Thompson brings them around. Three and four. Green flag. Here we go. Tough start for the 17 mission as he goes dotes to the back. That leaves Thompson and Maples out front again. and Maples Brown. Stringer way high. 
He gets her straightened back out. We'll stay green flag racing. 929 to Garrett Thompson out front. One point, one second behind Ron Maples. Tim Brown trying to make some moves here on the 12th of Ron Maples. Three laps in the book. Lap number four right now. Dawson way high. We got a spin again at number 14. Stringer is going to take her to the back. Tom Dixon spins between one and two one more time. Our Power Eye Midwest Modifieds dropping like flies. Four down, 16 to go here in your Power Eye Midwest Modified A feature. Thompson out front. Maples and Brown, row number two. Thompson brings them around, three and four. Green flag, here we go. Maples on that top side, Brown on the bottom side as they come through one and two. Maples fast, good run off that top side. Tyler Dawson trying to look to the inside of Brown. He'll try to advance to that third spot. Dawson clears the 26 car, he'll take over third. Dawson has got Ron Maples in his sight next. Holding that bottom side. Garrett Thompson out front. About a six-car lead over the 12 m of Ron Maple. 1.317 seconds out front. Everybody starting to single file out just a little bit. Ron Maples running his best lap that last time by was a 20.885. Garrett Thompson still two tenths of a second faster, even though it was not his fastest lap. Each man improving his last lap by two tenths of a second. Thompson, Maples, Dawson, your top three. And it goes back to Brown, Lampy, and Dixon rounding out the field here. Halfway to Garrett Thompson holding his undefeated streak. For this 2022 season, Garrett Thompson still out front. Ron Maples just 1.87 seconds behind. Tyler Thompson holding on to third. Three 11 laps down, nine to go, seven and a half sec minutes in this race here, a feature of Power Ride Midwest Model Dunn.
coming to lap number 13, the 929. If Garrett Thompson's still out front, Rob Mavis in that second spot. Tyler Dawson rounding out your top three. 26B of Tim Brown, Rick Lampy, and Tom Dixon. No change in the running order for quite a while. and really starting to stretch out the lead here. A little more than a half a straightaway lead over Ron Maples, two and a half seconds back. Tyler Dawson, another four seconds back from Ron. Tyler Dawson, unfortunately, taking it to the back there. Tough break, it was running third. White flag for your leader, Garrett Thompson. Ron Maples takes the white flag as well. Coming around to take another checkered flag. He remains undefeated. The 929 of Garrett Thompson taking the win. Rob Maples taking home second. Tim Brown able to sneak in a top three here in 2022. Rick Lampy Hart fought fourth. And Tom Dixon rounding out the field here. Again, Garrett Thompson in that 9.29. The reigning, defending, undefeated here at Mona Motor Speedway in 2022. The 9.29 of Garrett Thompson taking home the win. Let him hear it. Let him hear it, the man, Garrett Thompson, 929, getting the win from second place. Ready to rumble! It is time for our Power Eye Super Stock 4000 and 4 to win. Get ready for some of the best racing you've seen all year here at Monet Motor Speedway. Starting on the pole out of Party Missouri, number 68 of Brian Brown. On his outside, the number 44K of Robert Knowles. Inside row number two, Aaron Poe in the 45. 
On Aaron's outside, Tony England in the G1. Inside row number three, Kyle Davis in the number 10K machine. Johnny Coates in to start 35 machine from the sixth spot. Inside a row number four, Tim Brown in the 1B. On his outside, Matthew Seaman last week's win in the T10. Inside row number five, number 52 of Dylan Root. On his outside, the 164 of Michael Muskrat. Inside row number six, Bob Barnett in the number 27. Outside row number six, number 60 of Chuck Knight. Inside row number seven, Hank Long in the 8S. On his outside, Craig Spencer out of Liberal Missouri in the number 30. Inside row number eight, the number 69 of Dylan Bowman. On his outside, the 7K of Kyle Hamby. John at Kelly, the 35 triple X, going to start inside row number nine. On his outside, Kenny Shelton in the 19. Donnie Miller starting from inside row number 10, the 26 M on the outside, 414 of Ryan Thomas. Gibby Stenthouse, the number 21 on his outside, Tyler Carver on his outside row 11. Ladies and gentlemen, as they come through the front stretch, I want everybody to stand up and let's give a big round of applause here. 4,004 to win. This one's for you, Josh Essery. Lights are out. Twenty four entries to start. Let's get it on. Three wide, two turns, one and two down the back stretch. Brown with the lead going through one and two. He's got the forty five. Big, big caution. Multiple cars involved there. Everybody able to get started and get back going. Dylan Bowman will bring her back off the back stretch. What an exciting start, boy. I don't know if you don't have every hair on your body standing on end. Why are we even here? Again, 24 laps the distance on this one. We'll get them all stacked back up and get this thing underway here in our Power Eye Superstock A feature. 4,004 to win. Lights are out. Brings them around three and four. Looking to get this thing started. Green flag. Here we go.
Maybe I played the wrong song to start. Maybe I should have played Kenny Loggins' Danger Zone. Want to try it again? Again, another big thank you to Unforgotten Heroes coming out and seeing us. We'll get to see Adam Kaltenbach racing just a little bit later. Big thank you to Christy Looney. Again, she's one of our veterans. We appreciate her coming out. We look forward to big things from Forgotten Heroes organization. Lights are out. Try it again. Brown and Knowles on the front row. Brown brings them around three and four. Let's get this thing going. All right, we're in good shape. Everybody passed the starting line for the first lap. Brown leading lap number one. Brown out front by a considerable margin. the 27 and 8 get into it down the front stretch the 21 just getting by that'll bring out the caution here and that is why we ask fans to stay off the front fence <laughs> I told you it was going to be exciting racing Brown out front currently. Uh, sir. He'll figure it out. Brian Brown out front. Aaron Poe in that second spot. The G1 of Tony England. Rounding out your top three, Robert Knowles. In that fourth position, Dylan Root rounding out your top five. So far, Tyler Carver, your big mover. Eight spots up from the 22nd position. John Kelly in that 35X moving up seventh from 10 all the way to 10. Your best lap naturally by Brian Brown, a 20.10. I'm sure they're just going to get faster and faster. I expect to see some 19 and 18 second laps. If we can get this thing a rolling. 
Of course, these guys are going to give it their all. It's 4,004 to win, by God. Some of the best racers you'll see in the Midwest. Again. G1 pokes it down to the bottom side of the 45 of Aaron Poe. He's looking to take the second spot, but he left that bottom up and he'll lose his third spot to the 44. Cars going off of turn number one. That'll bring out the caution one more time. Tough break for your 44 as he was moving up. He'll go back to the longest line. Your second place car, Aaron Poe. Brian Brown still out front. Robert Knowles will take it to the back. Brown to get some started one more time. Three wide down the front stretch. Ten car up to the second spot. Kyle Davis. Let's get this. Uh, let's let this get filed out a little bit before we say anything else. Brian Brown's out front. We got another spin on the back straight, bringing out the caution one more time. Another one, another caution. This guy's gonna put it all out on the line when we're fighting for 4,004 to win. That's a big purse. Looks like the 27S of Will Smart gonna take her to the back.
Brian Brown out front. 10K. Currently your second place car, the 52 of Dylan Aroop. In third. Green flag, here we go. Brown has such good restarts here in this race. Out front again, coming elite lap number three. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen, lap number four. Your leader, Brian Brown, takes her just a little bit too high off of turn number three. That'll put him to the end of the longest line. Your new leader. Ten K of Kyle Davis out front. Brown so dominant so far. We'll see how far he can make it back up. A lot of tough competitors, but also a lot of cautions. We are on lap number four of this 24 lap race here. Power Eye Superstock A feature. 4,004 to win. Brown able to make it back on the track. A little bruised, but not broken. Big thank you to Show Me Dirt for their coverage here tonight. New this year, we got Show Me Dirt jumping on for a weekly racing here at Mona Motor Speedway. Watch all lives and replays at www.showmedirt.tv. Show Me Dirt is a great, it's great about sharing and promoting dirt track racing from all around the Midwest. 
anything from upcoming events, photos, videos. If you can't make it out to one of our race nights, no worries, my friends. My buddy Thomas Shaw, Jr. produces greatest live stream broadcast at an affordable price. Watch our heat races for free through our Facebook page, Tombo's page, or showmedirt.tv. Don't forget to like, share, and follow. Lights are out. Get them started here, Green Flag. Brown way off that top side, trying to do too much at a time. He holds it in there. Couple of the other cars that were up front at one time. Meanwhile, out front, last week's winner, Seaman, and right in front of him, the 10K of Kyle Davis. Davis, for some reason, not showing up on my Myers Pass, but that's okay. Davis, Seaman, Roop. Carver Coates, your top five. Michael Muskrat, Chuck Knight, right after them. Brian Brown able to make it back to the ninth spot. Now I think we got something going, got everybody weeded out. Brown able to advance another spot up to that eighth spot. Kyle Davis showing the way out front. Your top four break away from the rest of the field. Seaman, Arup, and Carver follow him. Your fifth place car, Coates, doing his best to reel in that top four. Only one doing any real passing to be Brown at the moment. Trying to bring his way back in to that top five. Roop trying to look him that top side of Seaman down the back stretch. Oh, he floats up just a little bit. He'll lose that third spot. 40 of Tyler Carver taking over. Davis, Seaman, and Carver, your top three at the moment. Coach joining that top four, now it's a top five. Looking to make some moves here. My school must run. Leading that second group. Ten K still out front. Starting to come up the lap traffic about oh a straight away behind. Matthew Steven on that second spot. Tyler Carver in third. Oh, we got fire down the back stretch. The 35 Triple X machine.
A fireball from the 35 triple X of John Kelly as he goes down the back stretch. Number 60 of Chuck Lyon also spinning. Maybe there's some oil down on the ground there. Look like your second place car, Tyler Carver, taking her to the back. Not sure what's going on with that. At the moment, it's the 10K of Kyle Davis out front. Fourteen laps in the books. Able to get ten down that last time by. Ten to go here. Davis in the 10K out front. Your second place car is T10 of Matthew Seaman. Dylan Roop moving into that third spot on the inside. Coates and Muskrat on row three. Brown I'm making it back up. I like to route. 10 to go here in our Power Eye Superstock. 4,004 to win a feature. Green flag. Everybody back. A single foul, Brown up to fifth spot under Michael Muskrat. Good run for Brown off turn. He'll look under Coates to take the four spot. He pulls a slide job. Coates will look down to the bottom side one more time. He'll risking it all, trying to get that money. Seaman slips out up a little bit. Coming out of turn number two. That'll allow Roop to get right underneath them. They're way high. Coming out of three in the pool. Now 
now's the time. Siemens gonna try to make his move going down the back stretch. Is he enough? Does he have enough for Kyle Vance? Kyle hit that NOS button, baby. He's coming through three and four. He wants that. Oh. Why? Well, here's a little added excitement. Caution coming out. Looks like it's gonna be a shootout here for the finish. Twenty two down, two to go. Coming down to the wire, boy. Kyle Bates still out front. Two to go. It's going to start getting reckless. Seaman trying to pull the block. Brown on the outside takes over to the third spot. Brown way high. Oh, he's trying to go on the outside. White flag coming out. Here we go. Caution coming out one more time. We got the 19 car off in turn number three and four. We just can't go out with a regular one, two, three, can we? Everybody gets one more stab at it. If we can get it in, it's going to be a green, white, checkered finish.
Again, caution coming out here for the number 19 of Kenny Shelton going off and turns number three and four. Twenty two down, two to go. Will we finish it here? Four thousand and four to win. Let's do this green flag. Muskrat hits the wall coming down the front stretch. Gets her all straightened back up. Davis, Seaman, Brown, your top three. A lot of people hanging it out more than they normally would. White flag, here we go! I don't think anyone's gonna catch Davis going down this back stretch. Here he comes, 4,004, winning! Yes, sir, let them hear it. Boy, the car looked like he earned it. We appreciate your fans for coming out and supporting Money and Motor Speedway here. fans out of Siloam Springs, Arkansas, the 10K of Kyle Davis taking home the 4,004 to win here at the Josh S3 Power Eye Memorial Race.
Hey, again, while I've got everybody here, big round of applause for the family. Josh Eshery coming out today. We appreciate y'all. Heck of a race, my friends. It was a heck of a race. Setting a record with 367 cautions. But we got it over with. Again, we really appreciate all these Power Eye guys coming out to Monet Motor Speedway. Hopefully, we can get them coming every week. It's time for your Power Eye Pure Stock A feature. Starting on the pull out of Purdue, Missouri, the number 69 of Dylan Bowman on Dylan's outside. Last week's winner, number 17 of Landon McLaughlin. 
Inside a row, a number two, the 53 of Kevin Yaw out of Springfield, Missouri. On his outside, Tracy Ivy in the number 57 machine. Inside row, number three, David Oliver in the number three machine. On his outside, Ben Babb in the 55. Jason Lewis going to start his 46 car from inside a row, number four. On his outside, the 3B coming all the way from Newburgh, Tennessee, the Billy Bryant. And starting on the bubble there out of Aurora, Missouri, the number 64 of Brandon Sanders. Lights are out. Let's go racing. Your pole setter, Dylan Bowman. Starts her off a little fast. Let's get her done. They're all over the place down the front stretch. Everybody gets it going. Landon McLaughlin already out front. Dylan Bowman in that second spot. Yacht in third. Oliver moving up to fourth spot. Bab fifth. McLaughlin spins in front of the crowd. That will bring out the caution here right off the bat. McLaughlin kicking himself, but I anticipate him to be back up there. Dylan Bowman up front, Kevin Yacht in that second spot. David Oliver in third. McLaughlin on a mission on the outside, passing four or five cars in a row. Dylan Bowman still out front. Kevin Yon, David Oliver, and McLaughlin already out front. Oh, the number three car out of Tennessee gives a little spin. He gets her back going. We'll stay green. Bowman and Yon battling out front. McLaughlin trying to put himself back up in that top. Three laps in the books here. Dylan Bowman out front, Lana McLaughlin up to that second spot, trying to challenge him as they go down the back stretch. We've got the three cars spinning again. He's got to back going. We're going to stay green. As long as he kicks straight it out, we'll stay green. McLaughlin all over the tail of Dylan Bowman now tries to move to the inside. Yon gives him a little push.
We'll see if the three car can keep it straight as we go through. He's right in front of the leaders. McLaughlin able to use the lap car as a pick. Bowen with another good run. He's going to look to the bottom side. And the three cars spinning again. He's just trying to go off the track real fancy. Landon McLaughlin able to take advantage of the lap car, using him as a pick. Dylan Bowman falling to second spot. Five laps in the books of 20 here on the caution. Landon McLaughlin, your leader. Yonton Bowman, row number two. Big thank you to Sarah Calvert. Also does debris and rubbish removal. What better time than to think Nap Auto Parts, located 641 West Highway, 60 in Mona, and 1010 Old Exeter Road in Cassville, 570 North Spring Park Boulevard in Mount Vernon. Visit Nap Auto Parts for your car parts, accessories, tools, and equipment for your car, truck, and SUV. Reach them at 417-772-7212 for your Monet location, 847-2611 for Cassville, and for Mount Vernon, dial 316-9365.
Lights out. Can we please have the kids off of the front stretch there? If we can get those kids off the fence. Thank you. Especially with some of tonight's racing. Get a little wild. McLaughlin brings them off three and four. Gets things started here again. 15 to go. McLaughlin shot out of a cannon once again. Yawn in that second spot. Bowman third. Oliver holding on to fourth right now, but he's got Ben Babb on his outside. Bim's going to be way high. Oliver's going to push him even higher. That went as well as it could have. Babb keeps her going. He says, I'm not scared. Let's go, Ryson. Coming around for lap, a number seven. McLaughlin's still your leader. Yacht holding on to that second place. Dylan Bowman third. Oliver, your top four. Everybody kind of strung out now. One and three quarter second lead for Lana McLaughlin over Kevin Yon. Another two seconds back. Dylan Bowman. A nine laps in the books this time by. Bab goes around again. Right in front of the leaders, almost taking out second two. I admire the man for getting her straightened back out. He's a wild man. McLaughlin still out front. Kevin Yaunt two seconds back from the number 17 machine. He spins one more time. Dylan Bowman gets around him. So does Oliver. He says, let's keep going. coming out. Caution coming out here on lap number 12. Look, I know, I know he's in fifth place, but this man has spun out six times, got it corrected, and we've stayed green flag racing. Big round of applause for the 55 have been bad. The man is a natural gifted racer. We'll give them one more time around, let everybody get lined up.
lights out. It's green flag racing here. Eight down, or 12 down, eight to go. 55, giving Sanders a little push down the front stretch. Lana McLaughlin out front. Kevin Young that second spot. Dylan Bowman third on Oliver, rounding out your top four. Fourteen down, six to go. Lana McLaughlin still out front. Kevin Young in that second spot. Eight tenths of a second leader for your the number 17 of Landon McLaughlin over the 53 of Kevin Young. 16 laps in the books. McLaughlin traveling up just a little bit higher every lap, trying to find that new dirt. Really slicked off after your power eye special. Two to go this time by. Caution coming out here. David Oliver spinning between three and four. He was running fourth there. Flagger will give the one to go next time by. Three to go when we get back to green flag racing here. Bowman and Yacht on that second row. Lana McLaughlin out front. Bab Sanders, row number three, and Oliver there in the rear. Oliver looking under Sanders, looks to take back that force. Benjamin 
lap. Of course, one lap down. Gonna be white flag coming out this time by one more time around for Lana McLaughlin. Trying to make it two in a row here at Mona Motor Speedway here in 2022. Oh, the wheel comes off the 64 machine. And a number three car of Oliver spins in turn number two. That's gonna be a win. Landon McLaughlin taking home the win here. Make that two in a row. Kevin Young finishing second. Dylan Bowman third. And Brandon Sanders, even though he's got a wheel falling off, going to go ahead and finish the race. That's very admirable of him. All right, he's out. He can hear you. A big round of applause for Lana McLaughlin winning from the outside pole. Kind of the lucky spot tonight. We've only got one left here, ladies and gentlemen. Going to be your B modified A feature. One more big round of applause for Landon McLaughlin making it two in a row here, 2022. It's time for your B modified A feature. Starting from the pole at number 40 at Asylum Springs, Arkansas, gonna be Stephen Butler. On us outside the 22 of Greg Woodcock. Inside row number two, James Turnbull, number 55T on us outside the number 42 of Steve Worf. Inside row number three, the 717 of Roy Long on us outside the 32 of Kelly Chick Hicks. Inside row number four, the number two of Adam Kaltenbach. On it, on us outside the number 79 of Shane Balu. Inside row number five, the 9M of Matthew Baines. On us outside the double zero of Kaysen Harris. Starting inside row number six, the number 11 of Gerald Hilton. On us outside the 51K of Keith Kingston. And supposed to start on the back, the 5X of Jerry Brown. Brown uh, looking like he's not able to make it out tonight.
Lights out. Butler Woodcock on the front row. Wheel to wheel, door to door. Here they come through three and four. Let's maybe get it on now. Forty machine trying to sneak one in on everybody. He'll fall back to second. C440 up to that third spot. Greg Woodcock, your current leader out front. Greg Woodcock, your current leader here in your B-Modified A feature. Steve Butler in that number 40 machine in that second spot. Steve Wharf third. Then goes back to Kelly Chick Hicks and Roy Long rounding out your top five. Steve looking at that top side. Woodcock and Butler coming around here. Just 4.9, 0.49 seconds between the two. Gosh, coming out here. A lap of number four of 20. Greg Woodcock out front. Stephen Butler in that second spot in the number 40 machine. Steve Worf currently your third place car. Caution coming out. Four car turned in number three. I can't quite tell what number that is. Case and Harris in the double zero. Spinning out in turn number three. Looks like they were able to get that double zero car back going again. We'll get them back in line and get back to racing here. Four of 20 down.
Lights are out. Woodcock gets them started a little earlier. Let's get it on. Woodcock out front, Butler in that second place car. He gets her back on the track. We're gonna stay green. 78 machine falling back just a little bit. 79, I believe. We do have two getting together there. Colton Bach and Hicks will stay green again. Again, the 22 of Greg Woodcock out front. Stephen Butler, the eight tenths of a second behind. No, oh, he closed the gap just a little bit that time. Six tenths of a second. Roy Long in that third spot. Steve Ward fourth. James Turbo rounding out your top five. Really the biggest race this for four. Steve Ward goes off a little high. He'll lose the spot. He'll lose several spots. Top three starting to bring away from the rest of the crowd. Rick Woodcock again, still out front, Butler Long. Your top three. James Turnbull trying to reel in the top three. Matthew Mains in that nine machine. Rounding out your top five now. Halfway through, your B modified A feature. Woodcock using that top line, holding on to the lead, and dives her down in the middle. Hold the middle through one and two. Butler trying to get a good run off that bottom side. Butler going to look at it out of the bottom as they come through three and four, going to try to get a run. Woodcock just way fast off the floor. Woodcock, your current leader, but just by half a second over the number 40. Really becoming a top three race as Woodcock, Butler, and Long all sticking together, but starting to catch a little bit of lap traffic. We'll see how that comes into play as they catch Hicks and Kingston. Your leader coming up to lack traffic here. He dives to the bottom of Hicks. Kingston fight back your leaders. The books here. Greg Woodcock still out front. Stephen Butler, Roy Long. Dog the lap traffic. Woodcock able to get away. Kelly Chick Hicks holding up second spot. Second place getting a little desperate.
Kosh coming out with two here to go. Your second place car, Stephen Butler, finally had enough of lap car of Kelly Chick Hicks. Tried to dive her down under the bottom. Gets into the loose gravel there. Not gravel, I'm sorry. Loose dirt. Woodcock, Long, and Turnbull, your top three at the moment. Trying to get the lineup right here. All right, I think we got her figured out here. Gonna be three to go when we get back to racing here. Greg Woodcock out front. Turnbull and Long, row number two.
Green flag. Caution coming out one more time. 79 of Shane Balu going off of turn number three. Then we have the 40 and the two getting together. Big thank you to Metro Towing. Doesn't matter what you're trying to tow. They can handle it. They can anything from 800 pounds to 100,000. With a 24-hour dispatch, get a hold of them at 417-385-3268. Torque Performance and Repair located 3677 North Main Street in Joplin. If you dream it, they can build it. For all your performance, diesel repair, custom fabrication needs, give them a call at 417-623-8677. Grand Tire, located Highway 37 in Pier City, Jefferson Avenue in Aurora, and Old Highway 37 in Cassville. They offer a complete selection of cars and trucks, tires, and have thousands of tires in stock from the industry's leading manufacturers. Find your nearest location. Give them a call today. Three man stand. These guys are a father and son team. Servicing your trees in Lawrence and Mary County. So you can give them a call or text them at 737-9681.
lights out. Three more laps. Here at week number three of Onet Motor Speedway's 2022 season. Woodcock gets the green flag. Let's go. Forty car way low. machine going off the track here. I believe it's the uh, multi-spin rule there. Three to go. Green flag, here we go. Woodcock out front. This main challenger, Ray Long, falls back and then comes back. Turnbull in that third spot. Gonna be white flag this time by Woodcock out front all by his lonesome his biggest competitor Roy Long way far back. He hits his marks just perfect. Boy, he's gonna take the checkered flag for the first time here in 2022.
Woodcock able to take the win here for the first time in 2022 for your B-Modified A feature. Roy Long coming in second in the 717 machine. James Turnbull coming in third. Roy Jared Hilton finishing in fourth. And Adam Kaltenbach with your Unforgotten Heroes rounding out your top five. He is. He's bringing her out. All right, car's off. I think his helmet's off. Let him hear it. For the first time winning here in 2022, the number 22 of Greg Woodcock out of Neosho, Missouri. I'm sure it won't be the last. Money Motor Speedway appreciates everybody for coming out tonight. We will see you next week for the 100-lap enduro race. And after that, a little late model action in a couple weeks. Big things coming out, Motor Speedway here.